Hello everyone, this is Frank, reference librarian at the Michaela Public Library. Psyche was a beautiful princess whose beauty caused jealousy even to Aphrodite, goddess of love. The jealousy of Aphrodite was so consuming that she devastated the kingdom where Psyche lived with a plague. Aphrodite told the king, Psyche's father, that the plague would end until he sacrificed Psyche to a sea monster. When the king was prepared to sacrifice Psyche, Cupid who was Aphrodite's son, saw Psyche and instantly fell in love with her. It was love at first sight, and as a result of this, Psyche was rescued by Cupid and they were married even though Psyche was a mortal. There was one condition to the marriage. Psyche could not look at Cupid's appearance, as this could be dangerous for her. Psyche thus did not know about Cupid's divine origins and status as a god. Even though this condition was rather onerous, Cupid was able to be a great husband. As a god, he could provide a lavish lifestyle for his wife, full of riches and luxury. Psyche had two sisters that grew insanely jealous of her, and began to plant seeds of doubts in her mind by asking her why would he hide if he was so amazing. So one day, unable to restrain herself from looking at her husband, Psyche took a candle to look at her husband while he slept at night, in a dark bedchamber. Cupid then woke up, and upon seeing his wife, Looking at him, he grew enraged and flew away as Psyche had disobeyed. Cupid flew back to Aphrodite, while Psyche grew depressed, but eventually Psyche was determined to win her husband back. So arming herself with valor, Psyche went to Aphrodite to ask her to help win her husband back. So Aphrodite, Olympian goddess that she was, decided to give Psyche four arduous tasks three of which were completed rather easily by Psyche. It was the fourth one that was her ruin, as it involved going to the underworld to Hades and retrieving this magical cream from Persephone. She, ma she managed to avoid Cerberus and Charon, not Pluto's moon, well, kind of, and successfully obtained that magical cream. So Psyche was successful, but since she was so young and curious, she decided to try the cream on. The effect of the cream was that Psyche was put in a death-like sleep, did Aphrodite know that Psyche's curiosity would get the best of her? Hmm? So upon hearing about this, Cupid became so distressed that all of a sudden he was not mad at Psyche and went to her rescue. So what did Cupid do to bring his wife back to life? He went to Zeus, who convened an assembly of gods and they decreed that Aphrodite had been too harsh with poor Psyche. Really, for once the Olympians say something reasonable because Aphrodite was too harsh. So the gods agreed to bring Psyche to Olympus so that she could drink the Ambrosia and become immortal. After Psyche became a goddess and reconciled with Cupid, they had a daughter called Hedone, the goddess of pleasure, delight, and enjoyment. It sounds like hedonism. So it turns out that Hedone is a word meaning pleasure in Greek. And it is the root of the word hedonism, which is that philosophical concept associated with Epicurean philosophy. Hedone's name in Roman myth is Voluptas and she personifies the same things as her Greek counterpart. So you can imagine where the word voluptuous comes from. If you want to know more about Greek mythology, I recommend Bullfinch's Mythology, a modern abridgment. I have added a link to the book in the description of the video on YouTube and to the blurb on Facebook. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel, share the video, and don't forget to leave a comment below with any questions or feedback that you may have. This is Frank, and I wish everyone a lovely day. Ah, uh, lose him.